of America's sunshine state, Florida, often conjures the mental image of a coast flocked with palm trees and tourists wallowing under the fierce gaze of the sun while the children frolic in the turquoise of the lapping waves. It is this that renders coastal regions such as Sarasota an economical hotspot. But Florida is also known for something else that falls out of the frame of this mental image. This aquatic phenomenon, generally exclusive to the Gulf of Mexico, is a harmful algal bloom that can only occur when three conditions are met. First, microscopic algae, known as Karenia brevis, have to be present in the water. With that, there must be a brew of natural or manufactured nutrients to serve as a source of algal sustenance. And third, the physical conditions must be right to concentrate and propagate the bloom. Florida Red Tide is not an oceanic byproduct of human civilization as many of you may think. In fact, the birthplace of Florida Red Tide lies 10 to 40 miles offshore, far from human pollution. However, it is the runoff and sewage that helps sustain a bloom as it migrates inshore. While the Florida Red Tide may appear to be an evil of the Gulf, it is a natural part of the ecosystem. Blooms have occurred in Florida for hundreds of years and long before humans developed the coastlines. To learn more about Red Tides, please visit these links.